how to install your own solar power. You'll need dedicated solar panel wire, crimp ends that match the ones on your solar panels, crimp tools to fit the crimps, three core wire to connect the inverter to the mains, and of course, solar panels. So you want to put on to your extension wire the opposite end to what's going well, you need one of each kind at either end. I'm recycling and using old wires. So you need a male and a female. And that is the crimp join you get. That will not to be coming off of here. Right, I now have a male and a female end for an extension cable. Please forgive my badly drawn solar panels. If you're wiring them in series, you wire positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative, and then you're left with a positive and a negative wire when you're finished. Leaving you, when you're finished, with a positive and a negative. And that's the two wires that you take to your inverter. So, you can't really get us wrong if you've, because they only fit in each one. Negative into the negative. Positive and the positive. Make sure they click. Good connection. Your solar inverters will vary from mine, but you'll have your positive and negative connection. Make sure your inverters are actually unplugged at the moment, not under load, because such DC sparks. Bank glues in the numbered. No. Positive into positive, negative into the negative. And for the testing purposes, we will be using a 13 amp plug. One of these ways is the right way. There we go. Prepare for solar power. Or a small fire. Nah. There we go, just think about it. Right, you can pause your video for 108 seconds. Bing! Currently generating 150 climbing. 150 watts. What's that? In? 236 volts. Half an amp from the panels. 242 volt output. 0.6 amp output. 49 hertz. And then it's just junk after that. Uh, what's with the chapping? That's their sensor instead of having a button. Clever. Mm. There we go. It's totally doing it. 150 watts versus 300 watts flying out from the system of size. <laughs>